wonderful people of the internet. Welcome to my channel. This is GPTV. My name is Gavin and I'm about to do some important work on my Honda Stream and I'm going to install some of these stainless steel um, cable ties because my inner CV boot is falling off and I'm going to replace them with that and I'm going to put some new axle grease or ball joint grease in there. And while I'm at it, I might as well just give my car a service with, with a hamp oil filter and some Mobile One, no, Super Mobile 3000, 5W30 oil. Just gonna do it some oil. I usually do Honda oil, but because of the lockdown, I can't get to Honda and I don't want to order it. So I just went to my local garage and got this. I will also be replacing my um, window wiper, my rear window wiper, the uh, cabin filter. And then the battery, I'm gonna change the battery in my keys. Battery in my keys. It's a 16, it's a CR1616 battery that you need for these keys. So I've already jacked up the car and it's all ready to go because it's also windy out there and um, you probably won't be able to hear me very well. When you see this oil, when I'm changing this oil because of the wind, whew, it'll be all over my Danger Mouse t-shirt. But is it, it's Danger Mouse, but it's Daft Punk. So is it Danger Punk? Or is a daft mouse? Daft Penfold. That kind of works. Anyway, there's gonna be oil all over him. It's gonna be oil everywhere. I'm gonna put a hoodie on. I'm gonna cover up with hoodie. So don't get my lovely t-shirt all dirty. Yeah. I also wanna show you that these keys, these keys are very awkward. I've, I've had this before, right? This here is an actual Mugen um, cover for this part. You can't change the other side, you can only change this side. You can buy them for the other side, but the key doesn't come out, and I'll show you that in a minute. But this, they, these break all of the time right there. Make sure you have your hand here, not here. So instead of turning it from here, turn it from here, and then they won't break as much. I paid this one here, this uh, Mugen one, I paid 20 euro for that, and it broke. So don't do what I done. So it pops open like that. And it, you will feel the urge to pull it, but don't pull it. Because it's just here. There's like a little sort of, um, this part here sort of hooks in to that part. Then you take this part out. Like that. Pop it open like that. Push it down. Align this with that part right there. And when you press the buttons, you should get your little light on. This piece here does not come out. It's it's actually plastic molded in there. Ready for a new job. Um, stainless steel cable ties onto a inner CV booth. The inner CV booth sort of fell off and then somebody before me put on a cable tie on. But I'm gonna use stainless steel cable ties. There's the, um, there's the boot, if you can see it there. This is a normal cable tie. I'm going to be replacing it with stainless steel cable ties. As you can see, it shows the whole inside of the. I can't. Yeah, it's very awkward to get in here, but I probably won't be able to film this. All right, this is the situation in uh, I'm in right now. Is I am trying to get this tight, and then put the other one over here. There, there's the other one it's there, it's just, just there. I have to put that onto that part there get this one tight and um, but I have to snip off a piece and for some reason my tin snips wouldn't work so I have to snip it off now with the pliers if I can and then turn it inwards to try and tighten it up a bit more okay so twist it inwards like that if you can see that there and then pinch it and then twist it again it's very hard to film this Okay, can you see how I've done that? You twist it inwards. I can't even get my hand in to show you. But you twist it inwards. And then you, you twist it inwards twice or three times. And it tightens itself up as it's twisting. It won't slip loose then because it's tied in as it's on itself. Okay, so I've just done that one over there. And I'm going to do this one now.
Now I'm going to do a service. So I'm going to remove the magnetic drain bolt and I'm going to remove the Mugen uh, oil, uh, oil filter. And I'm going to replace it with a hamp on the aftermarket parts. First things first, remove the oil cap from your dirty engine. On a windy day, put your bonnet back down. I have to remove my sump nut. Usually I'll put carbar down, but because it's a windy day, carbar will just keep blowing away. Now some people have asked me how much oil to put in here. This is a five liter. This is a five liter um, drum of oil, and on a level surface, I'd have just about a liter left. Um, I in the manual it even tells you that. Uh, 3.5 to 3.7 quarts is enough, which is nearly 4 litres. Then I will run the engine for about 5 minutes, not race it, just, just turn it over and let it run for about 5 minutes. Now if you look, you see my wiper is all broken. Hold on, zoomy, zoomy. Yeah, let's see, it's all broken, so it doesn't work right. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh it came off. Oh. Okay, so what to do is just open her out like this, open her out like this, and then just push a little bit further. That's it. See? Then you get your new one on, you probably have to take the plastic off. And then you line up with that, and there you go. Done. Now it's time to change my, uh, my cabin filter. And uh, this is a part number if you're looking for to get a cabin filter for yourself, which is in here. And you just pull that to the side there and there just keep just tip it out like that this here is where your cabin filter is so there's a little clip right there just push that in and another clip over here you just push that in pull it all out at once and there it is there put your fingers underneath here and push it up on both sides and it will just slide out like that get your new one as you see and this here, you see the arrows pointing down? That means that that is the way the air flows through it. This little lip here, all the way along. So when you're putting it in, you just make sure that it sits over that lip. You check it from the other side. Check it from the other side and make sure that in here, it is going over the lip. See it there? You just make sure it goes over that. That side is in. Now this side, The difference between the dirty one and the clean one. Do you see? You can just find the hole. Can't find the hole. Then I'll just slide it in. I got this as well. This is Holtz Aircon Odor Bomb. So, my air conditioning, when it's hot or when it's cold, it's fine. But changing from hot to cold, there's a, there's a smell that comes from it. It's like, um, it's kind of like a damp sour smell and uh, I don't like it. Put it all the way up to the top, put it onto circulation, put it onto feet and put your aircon on. And there's a smell from it. I can smell it when it's like this. Shake the can. Shake the shake. Shake the can. Shake the can. How do you break it? Huh? I don't know how to do it. What? How do you do it? Oh! There we go. Ah, ah. Run. Ugh, I got it on my hand. Yuck. Hi. Okay, it's finished. Ooh, smell. Ooh, it's fairly strong. Open all the windows. Have a look in this manual here. It says 
3.530, see? And 3.5 to 3.7 quarts. Just use Google Translate on this and you'll see what I mean. Four liters is, is probably too much. Bye to everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> That's not your normal voice. Bye bye. That, that, yeah, bye bye. You have to say it that way. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. See us all later. Bye. <laughs> this ain't over.